This is the calculation taken from an example in our textbook. It reads as follows. A 10 kilowatt, 440 volt, short shunt, compound wound DC motor operating at a full load efficiency of 85% has a series field and shunt field resistances of 0,3 ohms and 140 ohms respectively. Calculate the following. If the armature resistance is 0,15 ohms and the brush contact voltage is 4,2 volts. Now before we take a look at the questions, the first thing to do is to draw our short shunt compound motor. Now for a short shunt, the electrical connection um, excludes the series winding. So our series winding is connected in series with the armature. Um, draw our carbon brushes over here and then we have the rotating part of the machine. Just make a note that it is a motor and then the shunt winding is connected in parallel to the armature. Okay, let's just uh, write down all the currents. Uh, it's a motor so it is drawing current from the supply. Um, the same current passes through the series winding and at this junction point most of the current goes through the armature and a small amount of current goes through the shunt winding. Right, just to label our resistors so you know which resistors we have, we have the uh, RSC, the series resistor, we have armature resistance and we have uh, shunt resistance. For a motor it is uh, mechanical out and electrical in so we will use our input power to calculate all our calculations and we have our terminal voltage there right let's just have a look at all the information that is given just to highlight that just to make sure we write down everything that is given to us so the series resistance is uh, 0.3 ohms the shunt resistance is 140 ohms RA is uh, 0.15 ohms. The supply voltage is 440 volts. The output power is uh, 10,000 watts. And the efficiency is 85%. So the input power is bigger, the output power is smaller. So if you take the output power of 10,000 watts divided by the efficiency of 0.85 and therefore the input power is going to be 11.765 watts and we use our input power for our calculations. Right, now that we've got the diagram and everything written down, we can go ahead and calculate the current drawn from the supply. Okay, that is basically IL being drawn by the motor from the supply. It's a DC circuit, so power is equal to voltage times current and we use the supply voltage and the supply current. So therefore, to calculate the supply current, it will be power over voltage. Now for a motor, we always use the input power for our calculations. So the input power, we worked it out, it is 11.765 divided by the voltage of 440. And we end up with a supply current of 26 comma seven three nine amps right in part b we need to calculate the uh, shunt field current so let's highlight that over here we need to calculate i shunt don't forget it's a motor and we have our supply voltage okay down by the terminals now to calculate i shunt it's going to be v shunt over r shunt now we've got the shunt resistance but what we don't have is we don't have the shunt voltage. Now, because it's a DC circuit, the total voltage is equal to the volt drop across the series winding plus the volt drop across the uh, shunt winding, V shunt. So if you want to calculate uh, V shunt, it's going to be V total minus VSE. The total voltage is 440 volts. And to calculate VSE, Okay, that's the, the series winding over here. To calculate that volt drop, VSC, it's going to be the supply current, which is IL, multiplied by the resistor, which is called RSC. Now, the supply current, we actually have worked it out. It's the same as the uh, series current. So, it's the same current that passes through the series winding. And that was 26, 
26,739. And the resistance, the series resistor, RSC, was 0.3 ohms. And therefore, 440 minus the volt drop across the series winding, um, that works out to 8,022. So therefore, the shunt voltage will be 431. 978 volts right so now we can actually calculate the uh, shunt current so the shunt voltage is 431,978 divided by the shunt resistance of 140 and therefore the shunt current is going to be 3,086 amps right so now it's an interesting circuit the compound machine now to calculate the uh, armature current, now to calculate the armature current, IA, remember at this junction, the current splits up, some of the current goes through the shunt winding, most of it goes through the uh, armature, and uh, that comes from the supply. So for a motor, it's always easier to remember that generators are positive and motors are negative. That's in terms of our operation. So it's much easier to remember our formulas as IA is equal to IL minus I shunt. I like to remember it in this format because it's a motor. I always want to work with the same mathematical signs. So the supply current was uh, 26,739 minus I shunt, which is uh, 3,086. And if you subtract those two, you get uh, 23,653 amps. All right, now for uh, part D. And in part D, we have to calculate the back EMF induced. Now, there's the clue. It says it's back EMF, so that means it's a motor. And to calculate the back EMF, we have multiple volt drops here. So it's going to be the terminal voltage minus IARA minus ISC RSC and we have to subtract the brush contact voltage which they've given us our brush right that's a long formula and by the way this formula is not available to you on your formula sheet you're going to have to remember this now the armature current was let me just work this out armature current was 23 23 6 Five, three, and the armature resistance was 0.15. Okay, now ISC, remember it did split up, so it's definitely not the same. And uh, we actually have already calculated that volt drop. Um, ISC times RSC is basically uh, VSC. And we've got this volt drop over here. Um, they've given that to us, that's 4,2. Okay, let me just add one extra step here. So 440 minus the volt drop across the armature to work that out it is the armature current of 23.653 times ra 0.15 and that volt drop across vsc we have previously worked it out it is 8.022 minus the brush contact voltage of uh, 4.2 so therefore the uh, emf generated by the armature assembly it's going to be 424,23 volts. All right, thanks guys. Hope you enjoyed this short shunt compound motor calculation.